Hi, this is Amy from the Altice store. Well, we are all self-isolating and uh, home quarantine now, so we figured we would take this opportunity to interview some of our coworkers and give you a tour of their systems, their solar systems. So our first guest is Sean. He lives out in Colorado. Hello, Sean. Hi, Amy. So tell us a little bit about your solar system that you've got at your house. So I had solar installed in my house, uh, which is in Denver. Um, in 2013, the system came online in March of 2014. So it's a basic uh, grid tied system, no battery backup uh, or anything like that. Just a pretty straightforward grid tie installation, uh, seven kilowatts in yes. total mm -hmm. um, on, on two separate arrays up there on the roof. Cool, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on our field trip actually allow Sean out of the house <laughs> and he's gonna go and um, give us a, a show of the system and meanwhile I'm gonna pop up a uh, schematic of the system so we can kind of follow along at home all right let's go so we're up on the roof now and we're gonna take a look at the two solar arrays now when you're on the roof you should of course be wearing fall protection equipment but uh, for today, we'll file that under the do as I say, not as I do category. So, here we've got the east facing array. So this is 10 of the 250 watt panels for a total of 2.5 kilowatts. And now you can see down here, the squirrel guard is doing some excellent work on these pine needles. So here's uh, where string one outputs. You can see the grounding wire here in green. <clears throat> and uh, string one heads into this conduit. Now we'll go have a look at array number two. So this is the south facing array. This is the larger of the two. This has 18 of the 250 watt panels. So we've got 4.5 kilowatts on string number two. And again, uh, see where the wiring comes out through this conduit, which combines with the east facing string through this junction box and then down the back of the house. All right, so now that Sean is back safely down on the ground. Uh, let's continue through from where it goes through the roof. So uh, we have two runs of conduit coming down here. The one uh, with the two solar strings is the smaller of the two on the left. So that comes down, as you can see here. Yeah, nice down and so it's saying this is the solar um, wiring in there, that's good. Mm -hmm. Code compliant. That's right. And into the uh, six kilowatt string inverter. Okay, and so that inverter's got a DC disconnect built right in there. That's that, it, that switch right It does, right yep. yep. Fortunately, never had to flip that, but it's just <laughs> there and easy to use if I do need to. Fantastic. So you're going into two separate, two separate strings going in there, each to its own MPPT to manage the two different strings separately which Correct. is important because your, your strings are pointing different directions. So they're definitely going to be working differently all the time. Right, exactly. Plus they're, they're different lengths too. So, so yeah, even more reason to have it on two different um, MPPTs. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so then it comes out of the inverter as AC. Yep. Into our uh, AC disconnect here. Nice, easy switch to throw uh, yep. if the system ever needs to be worked on or anything like that to uh, yep. disconnect it from the grid. Yep, shut down and lock out, and that's got a, the ability to actually put a padlock in there so no one accidentally turns it on. Sweet. Yeah. And then from the AC disconnect, uh, we run up into the PV production meter. Um, so that keeps track of all of the solar that energy that you've generated. Yes, exactly. 
Now that number actually is a little bit higher on the meter than it is in the uh, monitoring in case you're curious oh, okay. about that. You know, this is showing 50,000 kilowatt hours generated. The monitoring shows about 45,000. And that's just because the monitoring was offline for a little bit uh, after the internet service changed. Which is exactly why a lot of uh, companies want you to have a separate production meter just in case something with the online monitoring goes wrong. Yeah, it's right. More accurate number. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Thank you for showing us that and, and proving <laughs> that it's, it's there for a good reason. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, okay, so from the uh, PV production meter, we then head up into the uh, main breaker box. Okay. <laughs> which has the uh, solar breakers nicely labeled here. Fantastic. Uh, and then additionally, we've got the breakers for uh, the monitoring, um, separate breakers here, which just control the, uh, the transmitter for the monitoring and production data. Cool. So, so then from, from there, you know, when it's going into your main breaker box, it then goes and either powers your house or, or goes back to the grid, depending on your energy usage. Yep. And Pretty so here's straightforward. The, uh, the net meter here from uh, the utility company, the uh, label on it. So there's nice. no mistaking that uh, PV is involved with this. Cool. Um, and that'll run forward or backwards, depending on if you're basically buying or selling. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And so I should be selling right now because it's uh it's a beautiful, bright, sunny, blue sky day in Denver. Nice. So then from the uh, net meter, we go back up this larger run of conduit, and, uh, and this is back out to the grid. Nice. Well, this is so cool to be able to see everything step by step. So why don't you um, head back in, and we can actually take a look at some of the, the monitoring just to get a good feel for what you have produced over the time. Perfect. Okay, so we are seeing your your main page here. So uh, give us an idea of some of the things that this is showing us. So uh, the two little gauges, the green gauges up top, uh, probably the most useful things to, to look at, the things that I always notice first when I log in here. So on the left, we have the instantaneous power, what mm -hmm. the two strings are producing in tandem right now. So nice, healthy 5.58 kilowatts at the moment. And, and you've got a seven kilowatt array. And what, what time is it right now? So it's uh, a little after 1 p.m. here. Okay. So probably the uh, south facing array is probably responsible for, for most of that at this point. Uh, yep. East face is probably picking up a little bit. Uh, right, but, but was more powerful in the morning. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, so to the right of the instantaneous power gauge, we have the, uh, the lifetime kilowatt hours generated. So 45,129 uh, kilowatt hours to date since, since March 2014 when the system first came online. And again, that number is uh, about 5,000 kilowatt hours below what we saw on the actual uh, PV production meter outside. And that's just due to a little hiccup that, that we had with the monitoring right. um, and has nothing to do with the, the system production. So, cool. um, so uh, other, other cool things that uh, are, are fun to look at in the monitoring here is the, in the lower right part of the screen, the environmental benefits since installation. And so based on the number of kilowatt hours produced, by my solar panels, um, that has uh, that could be seen as directly offsetting uh, thirteen thousand three hundred ninety four pounds of coal being burned, uh, thirty point three nine trees saved, and uh, about twenty six and a half barrels of oil. Wow! So, you know, as, as raw numbers go, you know, maybe not. The most impressive but considering i'm just one man doing my thing um it's pretty cool to to feel like i'm contributing in that in that way just by living my life at home off of solar power yeah let's oh, have like a that. look 
So, okay, so this is uh, daily over the course of a month, it looks right. like. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, yep, and that tracks, because uh, on uh, March March 19th and 20th, we had a couple days of very gray skies and uh, a lot of good spring snow. So uh -huh. I'm not surprised to see no solar production happening there. Nice. Um, so yeah, it really has been as easy as, as set it and forget it with, with this system. Um, I have not had to do any maintenance whatsoever. You know, I don't have batteries, so that, that eliminates uh, a big part of potential maintenance that would right. come with another system uh, that was more advanced than just straight grid tie. But uh, yeah, I, the panels stay, stay clean. You know, it is dusty in Colorado. It can dry out and we, you know, get a lot of pollen at certain times of the year. But we also uh, are lucky to get rain and snow with enough regularity that the panels stay clean. The mother nature washes them off herself uh, often enough that I, I do not have to ever do anything up there with the system. Well, very cool. Thank you so much for, for doing this with me. Yeah, and it's been my pleasure, Amy. It's so great to see another human being. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, <laughs> even if over a phone. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been Amy and Sean at the Alti store, and we've been making renewable doable since 1999. <laughs> so if you like this, give us a like and a share. Don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com and um, have a great day and stay safe. All right. We love you guys. All right, bye. Bye.